Who are you? Oh, I'm you. Yep. What are you doing here? Me uh, ad admiring your shelf. Yeah, but as a actually a really good shelf. Okay, you need to leave. Oh, I, I can't do that. Why? Because then I won't be able to do what I came here to do. And what's that? Oh, n nothing major. Maybe just a bit here and there. Oh, and take over. <laughs> Welcome to Red Effect, the same show that has finally revealed who that mystery man was. Remember that guy appearing in all my videos? Try to do what? Give us a five part tutorial of bad jokes and nonsense tips? What do you mean you didn't... I gave you the money. You spent it on... I still teach you not to spend the money on a cookie. Yeah, that one. Well, he just shot me. Good times. And guess what? He's right behind the camera. At this very moment. Shut up. You shut up. Well guys, today we have a request that comes from Cryptonym who asks, Could you make a duplication effect please? Well, here we are and let's do it. So let's jump straight into... No. You guys know where we are, you know what's up. So, my footage is sitting here in a comp and I've split it up already. So let's just take a look at what I've done. As you can see here, we have the first me on the left. Then underneath it, we have the second me on the right. So first step, let's just lower the opacity of the first clip so we can see what's underneath it. Now we can slide the bottom clip around so as to get the timing on point. That way when one speaks, the other responds at the right time and it doesn't look all awkward. Now I would suggest setting up your shot better than I did, like having something as tall as yourself in the position of your duplicate, so you have a good eye line. I was pressed for time and didn't do that, so it doesn't look as good as it could be, unfortunately. But let's work with what we've got. Here my clips are all timed perfectly. Now let's draw a mask. Select the freehand mask tool and mask out the half of your top clip that contains yourself. Like so. Then bring the opacity back up to 100. You're going to want to pay close attention to lighting so that it doesn't drastically change between you shooting both sides on the conversation. It's going to look a bit weird if one half is overly bright and the other half is overly dull. Now to blend it, just go to the controls panel, and under the mask settings, just feather that mask to maybe 3 or 5 pixels, depending on your shot. And that's it! Super quick on the VFX side, but remember guys, the setup and actual recording process of this footage is what really sells the effect. Nail that, and the rest just falls into place. And there you go guys, cloning. I wasn't particularly happy with the example that I put out there, but time restraints and you know, him. So yeah, we're gonna make do with what we gotta do. This is so the most boring show on the entire internet. You know what? Why don't you... Well, there you go guys. So you can hit me up on my Twitter and my Instagram as always. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. By the way, that Stranger Things title was made in his film. It didn't have anything to do with the episode, but I've been obsessed. And I know some of you are also. So yeah. Pretty cool if I don't say so myself. Anyway guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Enjoy your life. Bye.